air conditioning on this heat pump system on the 2017 Prius. So front end collision, we're gonna change out the condenser right here. There's a few little hits, as you can see. And I got the new condenser right there sitting, waiting to go in. But what you see here and here, right here is a heat gun. So what I'm doing is I'm heating up the accumulator because the accumulator holds quite a bit of quantity of refrigerant in it and oil and as you're removing the refrigerant it gets cold and it's insulated and this will take you a half hour on some machines an hour right now it's only like 52 degrees outside shops a little warmer i think we're 60 in here we are 62 degrees 64 degrees depending where i am i think we're 62 here or no 62 up here i got some of the warm air coming over here and starting to heat up my other clamp so these are temperature clamps and what i wanted to show you was if i have liquid refrigerant if there's a little bit of liquid refrigerant that comes out here as i'm recovering we have this temperature right oops i got on the liquid one, that one right there where it says 60 65 degrees it just went up a little bit because the hot air is going on it right there that one right there slt suction line temperature that's this one right there so let me turn on the recovery unit and we will see if there's liquid in there we will see the temperature go down because the pressure will go down so the pressure is 62 and we're going down and then in a minute, if there's liquid there, you'll see uh, the temperatures of the line go. There it goes. See that right there? It's going down. See as the pressure goes down, the temperature goes down. They're following each other. There's a little bit of lag because they have some tape. I'm actually, my temperature sensor is on top of tape right there because they have this little piece with tape on it. But instead of taking, it depends on your machine. If you have like one of those really big machines and uh, they go through the check to see if there's still refrigerant and they wait 10 or 15 seconds after they get it down to negative 15 vacuum to see if there's still refrigerant and it boils off, it'll be because of this. And if it takes you two hours to recover this on a cold morning in a not heated shop and you can't run the system to heat it up, you're screwed. So if you're in a body shop and it's taking you an hour, two hours just to do a recovery on one of these cars, put your heat gun right here. You can always put your hand on the side to see that it's not getting too hot because of course you don't want to burn the plastic or anything like that. You know, you can see it's hot, but you can see I can hold my finger right on top of the middle. It's not hot because there's so much cold refrigerant in there getting cold right now. This is like 30 degrees. We're down to 56, 55 degrees. So it's not getting much liquid refrigerant in. What it's doing, it's pulling the refrigerant. These bottom tubes right here, we, uh, right, like the bottom five or six tubes, those are the subcooling tubes. Uh, this one might not have subcooling tubes like the other ones. I have not cut and taken apart a heat pump condenser. I'm gonna ask them if I could have this old condenser and I'll cut it apart for you guys. And let's do an autopsy on a heat pump condenser because depending on how they flow it, and I think they use the valving traditionally and uh, they'll always keep the flow in at the top, but just in case they don't and they do some funny stuff and they actually put the flow in the other way, we'll see, we'll find out. But uh, I think I'll take this one and I'll cut it, cut it open and we'll do uh, internal. And let's see, on this one right here, now this one is an aftermarket and here's the company, APC, come on, focus Apple, come on, you a piece of garbage. All right, well, we can't see that, but it is focus right there. APC, there's their little serial number, identification, and it looks like a fairly decent condenser. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a tube count and I'm gonna do a fin count, but it looks pretty damn close. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say that looks pretty damn close. And if we look, and of course you see there's no there's no desiccant material, there's no receiver dryer on this because the dryer desiccant material is located inside, the bag is located inside the accumulator. So that they, don't, they don't have a receiver on here, they have an accumulator. And I don't think we could see, no we can't. We cannot see the side view of the refrigerant tubes to see how close together the internal fins that are inside the tubes. If we see the fins themselves, you can see the louvers that are in the fins. So the fins even have louvers in them. Most guys don't know that, that the fins actually have louvers in them. I just noticed I did not turn on my light. So we'll let this continue on going here. We're down to, look at the temperature suction line. 31 degrees, 30 degrees. Suction line. So this is at 30 degrees at this point. So I know I'm pulling liquid down here and it's, it's bubbling up and it's going in, but it's passing this point, chilling this down. Yeah, there's ice on here. This is actually iced up. There's a layer of, there's a layer of ice on this. So at this point, it's actually chilling. Now let me feel right here, is it getting hotter? Yeah, it's getting hotter. I know there's no more liquid refrigerant because this is starting to get hotter. So while this was uh, getting heat on it, it was staying cold because there was liquid refrigerant chilling down, but there's no more. So now I feel it getting hotter. So now I can take it off that. I've done my job. It won't get any. So now I could do this and I could boil out the refrigerant right in the bottom. Uh, let's see if we can see the pressure here. You see the pressure go up or down? Let's see if I can make it go up. No, I can't make it go up. I can slow it. Yeah, there's no more components left for me to uh, heat up. I know that. These lower, these lower ones right here. Okay, I'll come back to you guys uh, because I don't want to be here for an hour, so I'm going to go around with this and uh, we'll finish this vacuum. Uh, recovery. Mm -hmm.